Hi everybody, it's Julia from Mathis and Travel coming to you this week from San Francisco again. Uh, but my head is still filled with everything I learned at my conference in Las Vegas last week. Um, and if you follow me on Facebook, uh, you may have noticed that I ha posted a terrible picture, Facebook or Instagram, posted a terrible picture of the founder of G Adventures, Bruce Poontip, and talked about uh, that he made me cry. And I know I talk about G Adventures often, but I realized I've never really talked about why I love this company so much. Um, maybe if you've read some of my blogs, then uh, you might get some idea. But I wanted to really sort of outline it because they have a really big, exciting announcement coming up, and I thought the timing was right. So here is uh, why I love this company so much in several parts. Okay, so Bruce Poon Tip, the founder of the company, literally was backpacking 25 years ago as a, a you know young college graduate, and he went up a mountain and sat there and thought and said, we can do better, travel can do better, um, and came down a mountain and literally founded the company. And the biggest thing that he wanted to make sure that this company, this new travel company he was uh, creating, did was to give back to the countries. Um, and there are all kinds of amazing stats, horrible stats, that you know, if you go to a developing country um, or you know, in in you travel, you know, if you go to one of the big chains, um, you know, a very, very, very small percentage, maybe one to five percent or something of the the money you spend in country actually goes to the people of that country. And that was one of the biggest things that he wanted to try and counteract. So what he did is he created a second arm. So there's G Adventures, the tour operator, and then there's the second arm, which is called Planetera, and that's a nonprofit. And every country that G Adventures operates in, they operate various different projects in, um, in those countries um, to give back. And this is what made me cry, is just describing some of the, some of the projects that they have put into place that have really enhanced the lives, um, not only of the people that live there, but also really, you know, enriched the traveler experience when they go visit, because obviously they visit the projects where, or the projects affect the, the traveler's trip. For example, I'll give you two quick examples in India, because those are the two that were just so touching and wonderful. Um, first of which is they started working with an orphanage and helping some of the older kids, you know, get off the streets, uh, and teach them English. And so now when you go to Delhi, if you go to Delhi with G Adventures, your city tour the first day is given to you by some of these street kids that, you know, now have an occupation, now have a chance. And you get to see Delhi from their perspective, which I imagine is fascinating. It's so different than just, oh, here's the, you know, the mosque or here's the temple or whatever it is. Um, here's the spice market. The other thing that's really cool that they did in India is they took um, some women that were in a shelter that um, you know were sort of in the slums and stuff like that. There's a, a program that they that they help sponsor um, that helps again teach these women English, um, gives them a driver's license, buys them a car, make sure they know how to drive, and your airport transfers are conducted by this project by uh, these women, um, which is also really great because, you know, especially as a woman that's maybe traveling alone or even just arriving alone into Delhi can be a little intimidating and, you know, it's a little nicer to have a woman who, you know, can help you get get to your hotel um, with your airport transfer. So those were like two of the really wonderful, beautiful projects that have really helped um, people in the country. I mean, they do a ton. G Adventures does a ton of work in Peru. Um, they they consume over a third, I think, of the, the permits to hike the Inca Trail. Um, and so they've, they've got several different projects there, one of which is, again, to help empower women and give them employment and stuff like that. So I could go on and on. Planetera is amazing. And when you purchase a trip through G Adventures, your um, deposit can go to Planetera as well. So the the other thing that Bruce was talking about is just how their whole culture is around happiness. And, um, you know, he actually wrote a book called Loop Tale um, that has a forward by the Dalai Lama, which is very uh, unique, uh, especially for a for-profit company. Um, and it's all about how you can be a socially responsible company and still turn a profit. And, um, you know, so, so all these different core values that they have actually created something really exciting and special. Um, National Geographic has always had a traveling program, but it's always been very high end, very luxe, um, and very exclusive. And it, but it's been amazing. And National Geographic decided that they wanted to have tours 
available to a, a wider range of, of people, a little bit more affordable tours. And so they actually called G Adventures and said, hey, do you want to put this program together with us? And then, you know, obviously G Adventures, that was a huge honor for them. So they took it and on December 15th, you too can go on a National Geographic tour. Um, it's going to be three G Adventures and they are going, I think there are 70 different trips. They're going to be all over the world. And it's just so exciting. And I don't think enough people in America really have caught on to how amazing G Adventures is. So I'm their one woman cheer, cheering squad. I'm only one of many. Uh, they're always the most popular uh, booth usually at, at the trade shows and stuff like that. So I just want you to take a look. If you're interested in any of the National Geographic tours, give me a call um, or just research them yourself. That's it for this week and I'll talk to you next week.